Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am unboxing an A2 light pad, but not just any A2 light pad. So after using uh, this light pad, an A4, for over a year, I finally decided it was time uh, to step things up. Uh, my wife and I use drafting tables and a light pad this size is okay if you're doing the smaller diamond paintings but I tend to do the larger ones which means when I finish the section I have to lift up the, the canvas and move this to the next section that I want to do. It also means when I switch it off um, I have to lift up the canvas when I start again to reach underneath to hit the button. Um, the other thing with these is if you're working on the canvas and you're working on the edge and the button is there and well for me it would be here because I'm right handed so it would be sitting this way and what happens is when you're working your hand accidentally touches the button switches the light pad off so you're constantly re-tapping it to switch it back on again so that is a bit irritating and I know you can get plastic covers to cover it but the thing is it's the having to lift a canvas up and move it about and uh, it's, it's just a pain basically so I, just, I started looking for uh, bigger um, light pads and I saw this one. Now there's something about this one that um, really made it stand out to me. So uh, we'll put the, the old one out of the way and we'll have a look at the new one. So this is, uh, as I said, it's an A2, uh, which is a lot bigger than an A4. And it comes from a company called Sand Direct who are on Amazon.com The problem that I had when I tried to order I ordered two, uh, one for me and one for my wife The problem I had was Amazon.com does not deliver these to Denmark uh, So I tried Amazon.de Amazon in Germany They don't have them So I contacted someone that I know pretty well now uh, through the diamond painting and she's in uh, the diamond painting gym Facebook group so I contacted her and she lives in America and I said is there any chance that you could order two of these and I'll send the money via PayPal and if you could ship them to me so she said yeah no problem so that was it problem solved so uh, it was it left America on the 16th of January and nothing much else happened so after uh, I think it was maybe March the middle of March I thought okay something's wrong so um, I contacted her and I said I don't have them and um, can you check the tracking so she checked the tracking and uh, according to the tracking uh, from USPS, the um, the light pads were at Customs in Denmark. So I contacted Customs and give, gave them the tracking number, and they said we don't have them. So I contacted uh, Melissa again, said Denmark doesn't have them. So she contacted U USPS again and they said uh, okay uh, you need to raise a claim so thankfully they were they were covered by insurance so she said okay we'll we'll chase them up and get back to you so a few days later uh, she sent a message and said um, they're suddenly moving again they've just left Switzerland so it looks like the light pads were sitting in Switzerland for a month and a half. They got sent to the wrong country. 
So that's the story behind them. They arrived this morning. So they left America on the 16th of January and arrived in Denmark on the 8th of April. So now for the unboxing. So as you can see, LED copyboard, uh, we call them light pads, A2 LED USB, 0 0.8 centimeters thin, not thick. Adjustable brightness with scale. So I've already cut the end um, just to save a little bit of time and because of the size, I'm going to have to turn it this way. Move that. So, okay, that'll be the power supply. Clip. Another clip. And now for the light pad. There is no way that I'm going to fit this all in to the picture. Okay, so the box is empty. And the sheet of paper fell out the bottom. So it says light pad. Uh, Dear customer, thank you for purchasing our product. Most online sellers source ready made products. As a result, they have little control over the product design and features. We are a design company which develop, manufacture, and sell our own products. We pride ourselves in developing good quality products with in innovative features. If you have any thoughts about how we may improve typo, our product, we welcome your comments. We would especially welcome feedback and views on Amazon. Before use, check that you have all of the parts. Plug in power supply and connect to the light pad. So they have uh, a list here for A3, but that's not the one that we're interested in. It's the A2. So basically we have the light pad, two clips, two magnets, an adapter, and a power supply cord. So, okay, we have the light pad. Put that out of the way. We have two clips. So that's just the light pad. The box is a bit damaged. Power supply. And that's it. I don't see any magnets. So I'll have a look at the light pad first. Okay, so it's pretty well packed. Got this uh, plastic air cushion, nearly an air bed, the size of the thing. <coughs> and then we have the actual light pad. We have a cable, wrecking this place. Um, we have a cable coming out. The connector and that's pretty much it. Sticker on the back, just confirming the size 24 watts, Sun Direct, made in China. So, we'll open this up. I can actually fit it in, just, at least the width anyway. 
So this is the size of an A2 light pad. Um, if I get the A4 back, we can compare the sizes. So that's the A2. I'll put this in the corner. That's an A4. So you can see it's about four times the size. And that means that I don't have to um, lift the canvas to get underneath to fit to hit the light switch. Um, there's actually more to the light switch. So this is the power supply, but it's also a dimmer switch and the on off button or switch. So this plugs in to the mains and then we have this dial this cable connects to this cable so um, if I take this off you can see it's quite long so basically this connects in here And then this connects into the mains. And then we control it from here, which means no more knocking the switch by mistake, no more lifting uh, the canvas to reach the button because this is off to the side and I just switch it on and then it's also a dimmer so I just turn it to the brightness that I want and then I can switch it off again so this sits at the side and uh, it makes things much much easier so I'm just going to uh, crawl under the table and plug it in and we'll test it so I'll be back uh, in two seconds Okay, so now it's plugged in and I've actually put the dial to the side so it's out of the way and I just have to see if it works. So switch it on. There we go. And if I turn the dial, it'll get brighter. Uh, I don't know if the camera will compensate for the light so it won't look as if it really changes much but we'll see how it goes. So we're just increasing the light. The camera is compensating. That's very, very bright. So I just turn it back to the level that I would probably use it, which is probably about a quarter of the way, if even that. What I can do is if I put the light pad that I normally use on top and then plug it in, switch it on. So that's the, the lowest setting on uh, the A4, middle setting, brightest setting. And if I turn this one up, it's a lot brighter, which isn't necessarily a great thing. You don't want to blind yourself, but you have the adjustment and it is a very fine adjustment so you can get it exactly the way you want it without having to um, reach underneath the canvas and try and hit this button and you don't have the problem anymore of accidentally tapping the button and switching it off like I do a lot when I'm working on the side of a canvas. Um, you'll notice the A4 that I've got has um, that sort of uh, sheet inside it with the little dots. People have asked if that makes any difference uh, when you're using it. It doesn't. When you have your canvas over the top of this, it's it's just light. It, it doesn't come up. You can't see these dots. I think this is to help stop blind you. And it could be to reinforce the plastic as well. Um, because this is inside the middle. Uh, the other thing is, I found the magnets actually, and the magnets that come with it 
uh, these things. They look like pawns of chess. And uh, I found out that the board is magnetic. So these stick to the board. So you can use these to hold your canvas. You don't need to put a magnet underneath. Um, if I try it on the old one, it doesn't stick. It sticks. So that's the difference as well. Um, the board is actually magnetic and it's designed to hold magnets um, to hold things in place. These are strong magnets. Um, and the other thing is you also get these clips if you want to use these. Um, personally, I won't use, well, I certainly won't use these. And uh, the cover, the cover minders I do use, and that's just to hold the key um, at the side of the picture. So I don't need to go underneath and try and get the magnets lined up. I can just stick it down and uh, that'll be it. So the reason uh, that I went for this one is the fact that it has that external dial because it takes away all the problems of having to lift the canvas and reach underneath and try and find the button, which is very annoying. So uh, that's it. Um, A2. You can't see the top. Uh, it's just a bit too big. So we'll just let you see how far it goes. So to give you an idea of the size. And the other thing is I wanted to show you how I'm, I'm going to stop it. So it's in, it's in something. Um, I want to show you how I'm going to stop it um, being too bright around the areas that I'm not working on. So I'll be back in a second. So this is the diamond painting that I'm working on at the moment. And up until now, um, I've been using this A4 so it means I'm working over here and then I have to move it slightly past the centre and then I turn it around do it from this side and then the same again maybe start this side and then move it maybe to here so it's underneath the canvas so I have to lift the canvas get under try and find the button and then uh, do the rest this way so I'm constantly moving this thing. So I've put the light pad underneath. And switch it on. So bring it up, bring it up. So now um, I can work on the whole thing without moving the light pad. And um, it's too big to show the whole thing but if you imagine that this was part that I wasn't working on what I do is I cover the area that I'm not working on with these uh, table mats and I use them to keep dust and hairs and things off the diamond painting while I'm not working on it so I can still see through it I don't like to see the picture I like to see sections at a time and then I get the big reveal when I finish it so I don't like to see the stuff so um, I just put another, light, uh, another mat on top and when I'm not working on it I just cover the table with these things Uh, if I switch the, the light off, this is this is normally how the table looks when I'm not doing anything. So that's people ask quite often, what is this? Um, these are plastic. You know, they feel a bit like fabric. They're very flexible, and they're placemats. So I can chop and change them. Um, the first thing I do when I get a diamond painting is I take the original cover off and I put uh, rectangles of release paper and cover the whole thing so I can't see the picture um, and then when I go to work on the area I've actually started this part so 
a nice little checkerboard going here. Um, so I decided to work in this as one section. So I'm currently working on the 310 or the black. So I just have to get to the top here and then I'll fill in all of the black and then um, I'll fill in the rest of the colours. Now normally the A4 would get me to maybe about here and as I said I need to put the light pad, lift this up, move the light pad further along. If I stop um, and then come back to the next day I have to lift up the canvas and reach underneath and try and find the button. Um, and if I'm working at the side I don't have that problem with the button anymore. It's all controlled by that dial, um, which I really, really like. When, when I saw that, I thought that is that is perfect. So uh, I'm looking forward to using this one. Um, no more moving light pads about. And I really like the fact that the switch is actually away from the pad. So no accidental switching off in the middle of doing stuff. So that's it, A2, very nice, Sandirect on Amazon.com. So Sandirect A2 light pad, do I like it? Yes, I like it a lot. Um, I think the, the dial away from the actual light pad, no more accidental or accidentally uh, hitting that button and switching the thing off, not having to lift the canvas to reach underneath when you're working on the larger ones. Um, it, it's just, it's ideal. Um, if you have a drafting table, that's what we use, um, it fits nicely on them. Um, I just think it's uh, way, way, way better than the A4 that I was using. So, um, if you're interested in having a look at them, Sand Direct A4, eh, sorry, A4, A2 light pad um, on Amazon.com. So that's it uh, for today. I'm looking forward to using this thing. So uh, if you enjoyed the video and you like to see unboxings, unbaggings, comparisons, accessories, uh, diamond paintings, um, please subscribe and hit the notification button uh, you'll see what I am doing next as soon as I put the video up. Um, I also do uh, random YouTube lives during the week so again if you have notifications on you'll get a little message to let you know that I'm online and you can drop in and uh, chat, uh, ask me questions, just uh, general stuff. I don't stick to diamond painting um, just general chit chat. I like to talk to people and keep things upbeat, have a little break from the big bad world. Um, I also do a weekly live with my wife on a Saturday evening um, between 8pm and 9pm Copenhagen time, which is Central European time. Uh, we sometimes uh, have little random quizzes that usually uh, get a bit of a laugh. So nothing serious, we like to keep things upbeat and we, we like people to enjoy themselves, relax, have a bit of fun. So that's it for today, thanks for watching. In the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands.